okay so far we have seen seen that variables are not co-integrated so we cannot we cannot introduce VECM model but we can use unrestricted var model and that we shall be doing now unrestricted var model so I go to quick I go to estimate var then I choose the unrestricted var right it is here unrestricted var and so first I choose a do uh, I do GDP investment so so I put the variables a do is the I put the a do then GDP then investment so I put the three variables like this and uh, and the lag selection criteria is asking me to use lag 2 for this system system model for this system model the lag selection criteria has advised me to take lag 2 okay so 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 the whole thing uh, is the model so I press on the OK to run the model I press on the OK so this is the outcome and here there is no error correction term in this model there is no error correction term meaning that there is no no long run causality only short run causality is here because there is no error correction term so all only short run causality not long run and here you can see uh, this is our first uh, dependent variable this is the second dependent and this is the third dependent and this is one model right this is one model and it is one model and this is one model right there are three models are here and you can see this is the coefficient of a do lag one and this is standard error this divided by this you can get it and 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 what is this one t statistics always estimated coefficient divided by standard error is always t statistics that is the formula all the time what is the t statistics t statistics means estimated coefficient divided by standard error all the time that is the formula so uh, so as a result this divided by this you can get it this divided by this you can get it or suppose here this divided by this you can get it this divided by this you can get it right okay but the problem is that in this model there is no and, and here I'm, I'm telling one thing suppose this is coefficient but this is short run coefficient this one also short run coefficient this one short run coefficient so here all the coefficient are short run coefficient but not long run coefficient so so uh, in this model there can be only short run causality because all the coefficient are short run coefficient so we can only only make short run causa causality not the long run causality 
okay but in this model there is a one problem here is the t value you see there are many t value but there is no p value meaning that no probability value okay okay then then the question is that how to how to get the p value how to get the p value right so that is the question so so i go to view sorry i go to proc i go to proc then i go to uh, sorry i go to proc i'm just one minute i go to proc then i go to max system i can see from here max system just one minute no sorry i've come to wrong place uh, no no not not this one sorry it is this one right okay this one okay sorry so this is our model i go to proc max system order by variable right so then this is our three models right one is edu gdp and inv we have three models and so first i take this one right first i take this one then then i shall take this one then i shall take this one you see the whole thing has started from c1 until c28 so the whole thing is actually what the whole thing actually is called system equation model system equation model the whole things and you know it start from c1 then c2 is the coefficient of a2 lag 2 then c7 then start from c8 c9 c10 c14 right then again start from c15 c16 until c21 so we can estimate here we can estimate here here 21 coefficient we can estimate here 21 coefficient 21 coefficient can be estimated okay so the but so but, but the first uh, first we estimate this model and where a do is the dependent variable right we estimate this model first right we estimate this model first so what i do i copy the whole things i copy it copy it then i go to proc so i go to estimate model take here and i put it here i paste it here so this is my model the first model and where a do is the dependent variable a do what is a do education education is that dependent variable okay then i run the models okay this is the models has come up this the model has come up okay for this model a2 is the dependent variable right and here are um, all the then these are all independent variable now now uh, we want to check we want to check whether there is a short run causality or not okay. and we can use the we can use the world statistics world statistics to check the short run causality world statistics okay okay so so the so the okay so the uh, 
and at first we check whether GDP can cause education or not. So first we check whether GDP lag 1 and lag 2 jointly can affect our dependent variable or not. So here, so uh, what is our null hypothesis? Null hypothesis should be C3 and C4 equal to 0. So that is should be our null hypothesis C3, C4 equal to 0. So that should be our null hypothesis, right? C3, C4 equal to 0, right? That is the null hypothesis, meaning that these two variables are jointly zero to explain the dependent variable. So that is the null hypothesis. And the thing is that if they are zero, meaning that uh, these two variable has no, no existence, no existence. If if C3, C4 is 0, meaning that GDP lag 1 and GDP lag 2 has no <laughs> existence at all because they have become 0. Okay, okay then I proceed. Uh, I go to view, then coefficient diagnostic. So I choose the wall test, right? Because here you can see wall test, right? Wall test is here, wall statistics. So I go to view, coefficient diagnostic, and wall test, right? And here we I set my hypothesis, C3 equal to C4 equal to zero, right? C3, C4 equal to zero. That is the null hypothesis that uh, is there. Okay, then I press OK. I can see this is the wall test and it is the null hypothesis. C3 e uh, equal to C4 jointly they are 0 and it is the chi-square test. It is the probability value. So the probability value is how much? The probability value is here, it's p equal to becoming 14 point, sorry, p is 0 0.1448, meaning that 14.48 percent. And meaning that p is more than 5 percent. So when the p is more than 5 percent, we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that c3 and c4 is jointly zero meaning that meaning that our gdp meaning that our uh, our uh, our gdp our gdp variable cannot influence the here i'm showing you so C3 and C4 0, meaning that the, there is no short run causality running from GDP to, to our dependent variable. Meaning that I am writing here, meaning that there is no short run causality. no short run causality running from GDP to EDU. So that is our uh, that is our uh, decision. Okay, then what about the second one? We have the another variable INV. You can see C5 and C6, right? So what is called INV? INV means uh, investment, right? investment so that is INV 
and the coefficient of this uh, INV is C5 and C6, right? So, what is our null hypothesis? Whether C5 and C6 is jointly 0 or not. So, that is our null hypothesis. Whether C5 and C6 are jointly 0 or not. So, as before, I go to view, then I go to coefficient diagnostic and I go to the wall test, right? I go to the wall test and I put C5, sorry, C5 equal to C6 equal to 0, right? That is our null hypothesis. C5, C6 equal to 0. I press OK. This is the wall, wall test, chi-square value and p-value, right? And it is our null hypothesis, right? C5, C6, 0. What is the p-value? 42.41 percent, 42.41 percent, which is more than 5 percent. So, we cannot reject null hypothesis. Rather, we accept null hypothesis, meaning that C5 and C6 is 0, meaning that, meaning that there is no short run causality running from investment to ADO. So, meaning that in this whole model, there is no short run causality at all. I, in this model, there is no short run causality at all. Okay, but, but, uh, but what about this model from the statistical point of view? That means, that means how, how is this model from the statistical point of view? So, so I go to estimate, right? So, th this is our model, right? So, uh, so this is our model, right? A do is the dependent variable. And here, you can see, the R squared is quite high. So, we are happy about the model. How much is the R squared? 72.63 percent. So, we are happy about this model because R squared is high. And the F statistics is significant. You see, the probability value is less than 5 percent, meaning that significant. So, we are happy about this model. Okay, then, uh, then I go to view, then uh, I, I check the, uh, the re re residual. So, first I check serial correlations whether this model has serial correlation or not. Okay, suppose, uh, suppose, suppose here I take lag 2, okay, and this is the bush Godfrey serial correlation, observed R square, it is the p value. How much is the probability value? 6.01 percent. The p value is here 6.01 zero one percent. The p value is here six point zero one percent. So meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis because it is more than five percent. So we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that this model does not have any serial correlation and which is desirable. Uh, that means a, a model a model should not have any serial correlation and our model do not have. So, we are happy about our model because this model does not have any serial correlations. Okay, then now I check about the, uh, about the test of hetero, test of uh, this one, heteroscedasticity. Click it. 
okay so I, I choose this one Bruce Pregan Godfrey okay you can see the test of uh, het uh, hetero observed r square p value is how much p value here also very high how much p is the header here is 39.11 percent right 39.11 percent meaning that we cannot uh, we cannot reject null hypothesis because p value is more than five percent so meaning that this model does not have any heteroscedasticity meaning that this model does not have any heteroscedasticity because the p-value is more than 5 percent so we are happy about this model then finally i check the the last one residual test the test of uh, test of this one right test of this one i click here so now uh, what is this the test of normality right and and we can check jarkabera statistics and corresponding p value but here uh, wh what is the p value p value is less than 5% right less than 5% you see it is almost zero so less than 5% means we can reject the null hypothesis we can reject the null hypothesis meaning that residuals are not residuals are not normally distributed and it is not desirable so it is not desirable so we are not happy about it because because uh, because the residuals are not normally distributed so that is not desirable but okay so what is the summary of the whole model summary of the whole model the summary of the whole model is uh, number one sorry number one there is no short run causality there is no short run causality in the uh, in this model that is number one and number two uh, the there is no heteroscedasticity city there is no serial correlation so so we are we are we uh, there is no heteroscedasticity there is no serial correlations so these are these are good sign but there is one problems and that is there is one problem that is residuals are not normally distributed so that is not desirable this is not good sign of this model right this is not good sign of this model 